today I wanted to show you the transformation of my entryway from the fall look into the winter Christmas look. For the fall season I have placed here a couple of mums. On the left hand side are the fiery spoon mums and on the right I have white mums which with the cold weather have turned purplish. The entryway itself seems to be overwhelmingly green with this carpet, which I have been looking to replace for a long time now. Here is my lantern with a cute little hedgehog. I usually do decorate it for the season. I have newly acquired this gorgeous ornamental birdcage and decorated it for the fall. The project did take a little bit longer than expected, but it has been completed. Let's have a look. The Christmas transformation has been driven by the purchase of this white rug. I got it in summer of this year, but first I wanted to get something else to replace the green carpet. I have just adjusted the decor I have here. The lantern has a few Christmassy details with the Christmas decorations. I have also swapped out the decor for the birdcage by adding a little bit of greenery and some of my red birds, which seems to be very festive and season appropriate to me. Here are the Christmas wreaths I made a couple of years ago. I actually purchased the green wreaths and then added the details. The fiery spoon mum has been replaced by this stunning hellebore. I had a hellebore in a container a couple of years ago and it just loved its life here. So I thought I would repeat the successful formula. I have to say I love this look and the white rug has certainly brightened up the space a lot. However, in my area we do get a lot of rain during the winter and a lot of rain here means a lot of mud. I do not wish for the mud to be tracked onto my beautiful white rug and have to clean it daily. So I just reversed it and I think it looks just as beautiful. Um, it certainly isn't green, <laughs> even though I prefer the white side, uh, I will stick with this one for now, maybe for Christmas itself. I will flip it to the white side and once we have less rain, maybe in summer, I will flip it back to the white side as well. For now, this will do and I think it is more than beautiful compared to the previous look. Here is another look at the prolific hellebore and I do have a few pansies dotted around it. Also in this container with the ivy and 
white heather I did add a bow and a ribbon and I also added this galteria it is just tucked in there in its little tiny pot I planned on having color from my violas but since there hasn't been any sun there haven't been any blooms either and in this little pot instead of the ornamental peppers I have placed this rich burgundy dianthus thank you for joining me